Now, the work here is not done. Now that people are back in this subdivision, they're having to clean up some of the debris left behind in their homes, try and get rid of some of that smoke spell, and really just try and pick up the pieces. But throughout the county, it's not just here in this subdivision that is affected. There's damage all throughout this county, and that's where we're going to send things over to Garrett Berger. He spoke with a couple whose home was nearly missed. They had a very close call. Absolutely. We're in their back acreage right now, and you can still smell the burning that's hanging in the air. And when you look out over the scenery, it's mostly just charred trees and ash now. Now, the couple we talked to live up the road from the High Mountain Ranch subdivision and just a few doors down from another house that burned. Their house got away unscathed, but this scene behind them, a reminder of how close they came to losing it all. I hadn't been back there yet, but apparently a lot of the trees, everything burned out. Looking out from his backyard, Lewis Leslie is shocked by just how much burned. Uh, we're pretty lucky, you know, we didn't lose our house. His wife Monica was at home Saturday when the fire got too close for comfort. You could see it really close to the house and, you know, you could actually feel the heat with the wind blowing. She grabbed their grandson and the dogs and took off. Leslie's left wondering if their home would be spared. Just came over so fast and, you know, this everything we have is in the house. So yeah. they're thankful for the work fire crews did to protect their home. The red fire retardant dumped on the house still coats the back porch. I mean, people worked really hard. They were doing bucket drops and retardant drops right on structures, uh, protecting them from the fires. A few burned patches on the lawn are as close as the fire got. Monica Leslie left the sprinklers running something else that may have made a difference. As the fire marshal yesterday from the state said that's a reason that we didn't lose our house because the embers didn't get close enough to ignite anything up here. But it looks like most of their back acreage did get charred and the smell of smoke and even the ashes aren't just outside. I don't know how I got in, but it's in the house everywhere. But considering the alternative, overall, the Leslie's are feeling lucky. Yes, we have damage to our property, but our house is fine and all of our belongings are here. In all, just under 1,100 acres burned and three homes. But the good news, there have been no reports of any loss of life in this fire. Live in Medina County, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.